Hey guys, Anthony here from Mashup Math. If you're new, welcome, and if you've been with us for a while, thanks again for stopping by. This is something different, something we haven't done before, but something I've wanted to do since we first launched the, at the beginning of this school year, and that is to do a weekly vlog. So normally we do animated math video lessons that teach a particular topic or focus on a particular question, but in this case, I'm going to cover a hands-on and exploratory math activity. And these are great activities for you to do at home with your kids in your classroom with your students, or if you are a student and you have permission to use the materials for this activity, then you should go for it because this is a great way to build a strong foundation of math understanding. Now in this episode, I'm going to show you how to create a fraction kit. And the reason why I chose this activity for the first episode, it's pretty simple, but it's very powerful. I used to do this with my middle school students and I wish I would see more teachers doing this, but there's um, so maybe something you want to add to your repertoire of teaching activities, especially if you work with elementary or middle school students. So we want to get a good strong foundation of fractions as soon as possible and activities like this help us to achieve that goal. I just want to quickly remind you before we start that there is a worksheet that accompanies this lesson. You can download it for free. It's on mashupmath.com. The link is in the description for this video. You don't need the worksheet, but if you want something to follow along um, as you go through the activity, then you can definitely do that. And I've also written a blog post, which is also on mashupmath.com, where you can get some more insight into this activity and the research behind why activities like this help students to gain a conceptual understanding of a math topic and why we want to avoid things like just simply memorizing definitions and doing a lot of robotic repetition and practice. It's about understanding and activities like this help us to do that.
Okay, so that's the activity. It's very simple. One thing I would recommend for a teacher or a parent doing this with a student is to hold back as much as you can. This is an exploratory activity. And what I mean by this is that if the student is struggling or making mistakes, allow them to make those mistakes. It's okay. This is an exploratory activity. Let them explore. Let them mess up thing whatever they're doing wrong let it happen okay don't rush in to correct them because they might correct themselves and if they don't you can wait till later on to have a discussion um, or to explore why what they were doing was incorrect and then let them explore more in the right direction and and again remember there is a, a worksheet um, that goes along with this lesson you can be really creative with this you can add new questions new fractions throw some curveballs in there customize it any way you want take it and run with it and if you have some cool ideas i would love to hear them in the comment section below this video and finally i want to share with everyone that mashup math is committed to sharing free and accessible math resources because we want to reach as many students, schools, teachers, parents as possible. So with that in mind, if you want to support us, if you find what we're doing to be helpful, you can do a few things that take very little effort and would really help us out. Um, one of those things is to like this video. A second thing is to leave a comment in the comments below. If you like the video, let us know why. If you have questions, comments, concerns. The third thing you can do is subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're not already. And the fourth thing you can do is share this video on whatever social media outlet that you prefer to use. So Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, wherever. Sharing it helps to boost our exposure and makes it easier for us to attain our goal of reaching as many students as possible. So one of those four things, all of those four things, any combination would mean a lot to helping us out. So on behalf of the whole team here at Mashup Math, thank you all for checking us out and uh, come back next, next Thursday will be episode number two, which is going to focus on area models for analyzing probability outcomes. Another pretty cool activity, so you won't want to miss that. So thanks a lot, and we'll see you next time.